Get to the point, cowboy C-Bop. Get to the point. Welcome to the show, ladies and gentlemen. It's the Cowboy C-Bop Show. It's not just a knife channel. It's a life channel. Um, it's your first time here. Welcome aboard. You know, I only accept cool people. And I hope you're one of them. Um, don't forget, subscribe, hit the like button, leave a comment. If you don't like it, put that thumbs down, hit that thumbs down. But tell me why. That's the only rule. Can't put a thumbs down unless you tell me why. All right? Welcome, everybody. Shout out to my new friend, Dale's Dog. All right? It's a cool name. All right? He uh, was watching my... I believe it was the Fox Tyrannus video. And he was asking me a few questions on the Fox and the lion steel. And we got to talking. And he had said to me, um, hey, brother, you should check out the Macerin Leo. I just started cracking up. So I'm, I'm sitting on, I don't know, so many unopened boxes. And I just told him, hey, stand by uh, for the next, um, the next video. No, I think you're gonna like it. <laughs> All right. Um, we're gonna get to that in a second. First and foremost, I'm gonna give you a quick once over, all right, of these six plus one seven, but six beautiful knives that were made in Italy. Okay, now the last time I did a video with that title, I, I, uh, I must have said the wrong thing. Some people took it the wrong way. I had basically said, you know, if you're gonna spend your hard earned money on a good knife, you know, like for example, you know, the Kukri House, all their knives are basically the same steel. They have the same handles. You can call them up and have any knife you want designed, all right? And they'll do it for you. And um, that's great. That's awesome. I love that. Trust me, I'm a fan. I have quite a few. But um, you know you're going to get the 5160 or the 52100, which is great steel. Um, you're limited on handles. Uh, you might get um, their version of micarta or maybe bullhorn. But um, yeah, some people took it the wrong way and they got offended. You know, they have always been good to me, the Kukri House. All right. Um, I'd say for the most part, up until like the last two years, uh, I kind of, you know, moved on. You know, moved on. But anyway, um, not knocking KH, Nepal. But I am putting Italy on the knife collecting map. And you're going to see why. Again, check out the link to my knives from Italy. We're going to do a quick once over now. But seriously, first and foremost, shout out to Dale's Dog. All right. I hope you're watching. All right. This is gonna be cool. So, here's the once over. Yes, sir. What do I have laid out before me? First and foremost, I received a ton of questions on this bad boy right here. The Fox Tyrannus. With that awesome, mild compatible sheath, right? I did a video on this. This is such an awesome knife. Now, I received so many questions on this handle. Hey, I was leery about it too, all right? This feels so good in hand. It really does, ladies and gentlemen. Um, if you haven't tried a handle like this, they call it Fourpreen or something, give it a whirl. I wish I could seriously send this out to all my interested viewers, just so you can see for yourself. What an awesome combat slash fighting slash tactical slash uh, camping <laughs> knife. 
This thing's awesome, all right? Nice and sharp. That is 440C, that's called the Fox Tyrannus. Next in line is this awesome Lion Steel M7. Kydex sheath, killer, killer blade. Doesn't get any better than this, ladies and gentlemen. I love how the one part has the tag exposed. All right, the other side is closed off. The Lion Steel, this is made of that incredible Sleipner steel, ladies and gentlemen. Check it out, Lion Steel M7. My uh, newest favorite out of the out of the bunch here was by Fox Knives, the Fox FX 140 XL. This is made of that Nylox steel, Nylox. So we went from 440C to Sleipner to Nylox. Here we go. All right. This is such an awesome blade ladies and gentlemen all right um this will last you you know nine maybe ten lifetimes all right the only thing i didn't like was the leather sheath it needs to be upgraded to kydex all right we're gonna have to uh, uh see about replacing that um do you hear me wyatt you hear me huh, huh, huh? <laughs> all right then we move over here to the Pole Force Quebec One, his tribute to Randall Knives. German Kydex sheath, epic. Comes in this Pole collector's pouch. The Pole Quebec One. Look at this. One of the most badass fighter knives you'll ever hold. Look at this handle. Oh my goodness, this, I think that when I did this video, I was shaking like a leaf, all right, so nervous. I didn't really use this knife. Um, this is a collector piece, and uh, I think each and every one of you would agree with me. Now, if I only had one or two knives, sure, I'm going to use it, but I don't have one or two knives like normal people. No, I'm sick, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> All right, brings me to Maserin. I got this, uh, I don't know, two, three years ago. The 977 Wild Boars is our passion. What a gorgeous blade. Look at that thick spine. I went with the orange G10. It's also available in black or green, I believe. This knife will not let you down, ladies and gentlemen. All right, let's talk a little bit here. Oh, I'm forgetting one. All right, the Lion Steel T5. This is made of the Nylox steel. Did I tell you that was 440C as well? This is Nylox, all right? This has a five inch blade. The Lion Steel T5, all right? Gorgeous leather sheath, double stitched, five inch blade, all right? Again, Lion Steel has that exposed tang on one side and then sealed on the other, all right? It feels so good in hand. Now, when I look at my collection of Knives from Italy, I always said, the uh, Lion Steel T5 is the smallest of the bunch. Okay, you with me so far? That is up until I opened Leo. All right, let's get to it. I try to do that as quick as I can. Leo, let's talk some specs. Again, Shout out to Dale's dog. All right. So why did I want this knife so bad? Here's the honest truth, all right? My dog's name is Leo, all right? So when I saw this, plus it being made in Italy, all right, by um, a, a, a killer knife company by the name of Maserin, all signs were pointing to, you gotta snag this knife up. You gotta buy it, 
all right? I actually watched uh, one or two videos, and I can't understand what they're saying, but this one guy, he went on for like 30 minutes of just putting this through the total torture test, and at the end of the video, he's like cutting paper like nothing, you know? So, let's talk some specs, shall we? All right, this is called the Maserin Leo. Now, <laughs> again, Leo's my dog's name, all right? And the YouTuber, his name is Dale's dog. Again, all signs are pointing to buy this knife. So it was sitting in there for a while. I planned on doing a video on this um, for season four. And, uh, in 2022 I only have one or two more videos for this season and then taking a nice long break and um, we're gonna jump into 2022 sometime in January so here's the specs on the Leo ladies and gentlemen kydex sheath with these two leather belt loops which I love by the way all right I have bigger knives with these same kind of loops that on my shoulder harness it you know right there you know it's perfect it's perfect you know I have a homemade shoulder harness it's pretty cool All right so anyway you get a cool kydex sheath now I said that my lion steel t5 was my smallest blade that's five inches this guy is four and a quarter inches so now I, I, I just call that a lion steel I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm all over the place Maserin, Maserin, made in Italy, the Leo, law enforcement only. So what the hell am I doing with it? Anyway, this has a four and a quarter inch blade. So this one wins for my smallest knife from Italy. <laughs> All right. Okay. Nine inches overall. Four and a quarter inch blade. Did I already say that nine times? We got the blade thickness of 0 0.14. This steel, ladies and gentlemen, is a Bowler N690. Now, I have a Bowler N695, my Koodman, my MT5U. So I'm saying, oh, that steel's awesome. That thing is insane. But they say that the N690 is a better steel, right? It has better edge retention. From, from the looks of that one guy's video, he, he ain't lying. Drop point, flat grind, stone wash. Okay, I'm not a big stone wash fan, okay? Uh, I, I mean, if this was available with, the, you know, mirror polished satin finish, I would have bought that instead. But it's not a deal breaker, ladies and gentlemen. All right, it's not a deal breaker. Um, let's see, plain edge, handle length 4.75. That's uh, four and three quarters. Handle width, inch and a quarter. Handle thickness 0 0.76. Handle material G10. Um, this is a greenish color. All right, I do believe it's available in black also. All right, I got lucky with the green because I would have chose that. I, the store I bought this from, I think only had it in green. And uh, what's the name of that store? Uh, oh, it's on sale at Amazon. There you go. And I think when I looked today, there was one left. So who's going to be the first one to get it? I've seen it for sale for like 150 bucks, 140 bucks, 135. Amazon is like 98 dollars. Can't go wrong there. Kydex sheath, fixed blade, Maserin. Model L period E period O. Leo. Law enforcement only. Model number 919. G10 Nancy Victor. That's 919 slash G10 NV. Made in Italy and it's a tactical knife. Alright. I'm going to save this because I might, <laughs> might need it for later. All right, Dale's dog. Let's see how sharp this bad boy is out of the box. Holy moly. 
Yeah, they ain't lying. They ain't lying still, because it's macerin. That actually felt kind of good. We're gonna do it again, all right? That grip actually feels pretty good. A little leery about it. You got some finger jumping up here on the spine. There's even a nice little spot here to put your thumb right there. Oh, I'm liking this. All right. So yes, it's wicked sharp. But as they say, this thing will hold an edge. This N690 bowler. Okay. I'm gonna do a little damage. It's uh, I don't know. Do a little this, a little that. All right. I'm not gonna keep you guys all day. I already started on here, but um. Yeah, tactical camp utility. Um, I, I think this thing does everything except possibly, uh, you know, pry open manholes. <laughs> All right, who knows? Let's do a little light chopping. Need a new stick. Just a little light chopping. Let me get this out the way. Uh, pardon me. Oh, yes. And if you do want to, I don't. I don't do it. But if I had to, you can baton with this. Like, I watched this video from Italy. This guy batoned for like 30 minutes, I'm telling you. I'm just, just doing a little hacking so we can check the edge again. All right, nothing really major. It's just bang, bang, bang away. You guys like uh, chopping with a four inch blade? I don't, but we're just gonna check the edge, all right? Success. Seriously, not a ding or a dang. Dang, nab it. All right. Yeah, it's kind of hard to do a, um, you know, a jub test on a four-inch blade, so we're not doing that today. I'm just going to tell you guys that this is an awesome addition to the Cowboy Seabop collection. And I do plan on using this as my everyday carry. Yep, yep, this is it. Gonna clean it up a bit. And uh, I'm good to go. Highly, highly recommend. So again, thank you Dale's Dog. And uh, click the link if you want more detailed information on these guys, all right? What you see laid out before you, all right? Having used a Tyrannus in a while, let's check the edge on this, shall we? Not too shabby. Which one's this? I always confuse the lion steel with that fox. I love that finger troll right there.
bucks. Yeah, baby. Maserin, Maserin. That uh, looks like I need to. No, nope, no, I don't. Where's my pole? Where's my pole? Guys, I'm seriously ready to go tactical. All right, last one. Oh yeah, the, the T5 Lion Steel. These are all epic blades, ladies and gentlemen. Epic blades. Okay, we're going to do a once over, and I'm saying so long. Oh, goodness. Hey, guess what? Two more days. It's pole fourth time, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, it is. I hope you guys, uh, you know, stay tuned. I am so excited to review these pole force blades. I am over the moon, ladies and gentlemen. So, okay, click the link if you want more info on these guys. And uh, thanks again, Dale's dog. Leo found a good home. And it is my uh, new EDC, all right? Feels pretty darn good. Pretty brutal, too. All right. Stay safe as always, everybody. And I'll see you soon.